So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my hair. If you guys follow me on Instagram, at this username, you guys know that I was a part of a hair show, and I showed you guys how I went from this hair, to this hair, to now this hair. And you actually can't tell on camera right now, it looks darker than what it is, but it's pretty... It's pretty light, it's pretty purple. I'll insert a few photos so you guys can see how it looks like um, in the natural light. But yeah, I'm gonna pretty much be talking all about my hair and how I'm gonna wear it for work, how much I got paid for this event. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. So first things first, um, before anyone has a heart attack, yes, I have purple hair. I actually have purple, a little bit of teal, and a little bit of yellow in my hair right now. Um, but no, I'm not wearing this purple hair to work. Um, hence the title of this video, if I did wear my hair like this to work, I will get fired. And this is kind of, sorry I got a text. Um, this is kind of a reminder to those of you out there, if you are trying to become a flight attendant, you cannot have this crazy colored hair. And it's not even crazy, it's just not professional for work. Um, so yeah. So how do I have this purple hair? So I actually went on a casting call in Orlando the beginning of January. So um, earlier this month, Lewis and I went to Jacksonville for his marathon that he ran. And on the way back down to South Florida, we stopped in Orlando because I wanted to go to this casting call for this hair show. So when I went, it was super quick. Um, I had brought like two pictures with me. I had to do like a runway walk a few times. And then I sat down with one of the stylists or someone that was like in charge of um, choosing the models for the hair show. So, and this is kind of the part where it's my fault. Um, they asked me, what am I willing to do with my hair? So in my mind, granted at the time I was really excited, I really wanted to be a part of this, plus the pay was good. So in my mind, I was like, okay, well, when it comes to cutting, I don't really want to cut my hair that much. I think the most I would cut it for the show was like anything below this area. Um, and then for color, in my mind, I was like, well, if they dye my hair whatever color, um, I can easily dye back. Now, keep in mind the company that I worked for, the brand that I worked with was Matrix. And if you guys don't know anything about Matrix is they love color. They're really big into color any of their hair shows or even on their Instagram Instagram page they're all about color so in my mind I was like well they can't really get me to yellow <laughs> or like a really crazy color like that so I told them that I was open to any color um, so yeah also because I really wanted to get chosen for this event so I was like okay if I was open to any color that kind of heightened my chances of getting to be a part of this event. So fast forward, I ended up getting chosen to be a part of this event and work it. So the hair show itself was from the 16th through the 21st in Orlando at the Rosen Shingle Creek Resort. Um, that's where I stayed and I checked in on the 15th. So I am on call this month, I am on reserve, but lucky enough I had all those days off. Um, and then I was on call before those days and after those days, which I haven't been used. Today is the 26th. I finished the hair show on the 21st and I have not worked. I haven't flown. It's really been dry this month. Um, I think because it's been after the holidays, so no one's calling out six. Therefore, I'm not getting called into work, which I'm super happy about because I still have this hair. <laughs> So the Matrix hair show, it was amazing. It was a really cool event to be a part of. I'll insert some video clips throughout this um, video for you guys. I, 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 I,
Kansas City, I believe. Um, and so he bleached my entire hair and he left my roots my natural color because since he was using like a dark purple, um, my roots didn't need to be bleached. So it's kind of cool seeing my hair completely bleached, to be honest. I know a lot of people, they're really attached to their hair, which is fine. But for me, I loved being that like person for someone else to like create art on top of. So he was able to like do my hair the way he wanted to, the way he envisioned it. And at the end result, he loved it. I loved it. It was pretty awesome to see my hair like this. So yeah, the show itself was on a Tuesday. It was on the 21st, which is the last day that we were there. But there was a lot of prep that went into it, a lot of rehearsal. We even had a free day. We had a lot of free time. So to get into how much I got paid. So be mindful, I was there from the 15th because I checked in on the 15th. And I left on the 21st. And we had a lot of free time. So I got paid $1,000 minus agency fees, minus 20% for the agency that booked me for this gig. So pretty much I got paid $800 for six to seven-ish days, and that's on top of my reserve month, which helps tremendously because I have not already been working a lot this month. Um, there's, no month there's no trips to pick up on my off days, so this, $800 supplements my income, which is obviously great. I am going to be making a completely separate video on other ways and other events that I've worked to make extra money while being a flight attendant, so stay tuned for that video. Um, and I am dyeing my hair back this upcoming Saturday. So today's Sunday. Um, so yeah, this upcoming Saturday I have a hair appointment and I'm gonna go back to my natural color So I'm just gonna enjoy this purple hair for now and while I do go to work because I'm pretty sure they're gonna call me Within the next week to work a trip for those of you who don't know I am a flight attendant and I primarily do Videos on flight attendant life. So if you guys are interested Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification So you are you are notified whenever I do upload but yeah, the moment I realized that they were dyeing my hair purple, I already knew I couldn't wear this to work, so I started thinking of my options. So at first I was going to dye my hair immediately, like within the next few days, back to my natural color, but I didn't want to um, damage my hair anymore. I mean, my hair honestly looks pretty healthy for what it went through of being completely bleached and... Um, then colors on top of it. It's It feels soft, it feels great, um, but I didn't want to do my hair again within the next few days after getting it bleached. I wanted to just give my hair a week or two um, to relax. So I started thinking of options. So I was like, okay, well, I could get a wig. So I did end up buying a wig. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it. Um, I never put on a wig before or, or worn a wig, but it was an option and I bought it and I like it, but I, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then my second option, which is probably what I'm going to go with, is I bought a ponytail. So I bought a ponytail, which comes in tomorrow. 
um, and I'm just gonna put my hair up put on the ponytail and then they actually have this black hairspray which I'm gonna go buy right after this and it's just a hairspray so this part of my hair will be shown but it, it's not that bright of a purple but I still need to cover it so I'll just put some hairspray on my hair like normal and it's black so it'll you know I'll have the black hairspray and then I'll have the ponytail and I think that'll work and I'll be fine for work so this is the wig that I bought and it came in this purple box how ironic um, it's a it's human hair natural mix and it's by diva impress I I saw so many um, videos on on YouTube here on YouTube I watched so many videos on how to put this wig and place it so that it stays um, my thing is if I glue the wig to my hair or to the wig cap or whatever I don't want to keep it on for like a week or two weeks I would only want to keep it for a few days um, but yeah let me just put this on and show you guys this wig are you guys ready to see this wig give this video a thumbs up if you are ready all right guys so this is the wig um, I just have to cut this netting right here trust me I watched like 20,000 YouTube videos on how to put this wig on and I'm pretty confident that I can do it but I don't know I just don't feel comfortable wearing all this hair to work I should have gotten like a shorter length but I don't know I thought about returning it but I'm actually gonna keep it I kind of love it even if um, I want to do like a fun photo shoot or something I think it'll be pretty cool so this is the wig that I bought um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll wear this to work, but but yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to say. I'm thinking in my next video, I'm going to wear this wig and have it installed the best that I can do. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and yeah, we're almost at 10k guys, which is really amazing I never thought that I would reach like even a thousand subscribers but we're almost at 10k um, I love you guys so much thank you for supporting me for watching my videos for giving it a thumbs up for subscribing for showing whoever my videos I've also been getting so many DMs saying that I've helped you along your journey of becoming a flight attendant um, so I'm super happy about that and the last thing if you could dye your hair any color for like a week what color would you want it to be? So I have purple. I've always wanted to see what I would look like with purple hair. So here I am. Um, but if you have a color, a fashion color that you could wear for a week, if you could, what color would it be? Comment that down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.